So okay. welcome hey there. to hey. Both Sides Now. And I'm Jane Stahl. And I'm Jurgs. And here we are together again for season two. Is that right? We are season two episode like something. Uh, Depending something. on where this one gets squeezed in. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea where we are, but it's uh, really exciting. And I am so happy for you. You are so busy. I am so busy. Maybe can we fill our audience in with what each of us is doing right now so that they know yes. where to find us if they like listening to us at all? What do you think? Tell us yeah, about I you. Feel, I think that's a great idea because I feel bad when we get off the schedule we're supposed to be dropping two studios a week, one on Tuesday and then the other one on Friday. I even had to look up and think about it. You know, uh, when does the other one go? Because it's been so far out of actual practice. Yeah. Uh, I, I really am glad we take this time to let everyone know that here's what else is going on really with both of us. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. that way, not only do they know what's taking us so long to get some stuff out, but they can also find us somewhere else and keep up on those projects as well in real time. There you go. There you go. So if they miss us on both sides now, they have other places to find us if they are Plenty. missing us at all. How's that? Okay, yes. so yes. you start. Okay, so... <laughs> Almost a year ago, uh, I had just been doing a podcast called The Doggy Traders, and um, because that was following my day trading career, and I just got so frustrated with the news, mm. so frustrated with the, and I'll put this one in quotes, the news, uh, people like Dan Bongino and Rachel Maddow, and from both right and left, left and right. Uh, who were doing commentary more than they were doing news. And they present themselves to you, the viewer or listener, as though they're an expert. Mm -hmm. And they're not. Just because they talk about it every day doesn't make them an expert. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and so and when you're lying every day are you like saying Fox Rachel Maddow says, lies? She's slanted as well. Ah. She's she is left and she's that representation. And not necessarily that she is lying, but if there's ever a new story that is anti in this case Biden or previously anti-Obama. There's a slant to it, if it's covered at all. Rarely is the Fox News alert the same thing as the breaking news on CNN. Right. Right. Well, my husband watches... And Fox News. Mm, go ahead. Well, Fox News has admitted... Mm -hmm. that they're not news in court. And in fact, they've even said, per their attorneys, that they are of the opinion that their audience is smart enough to discern that, to realize that. Well, what do we think? <laughs> and so I got into the game of political commentary from the position of an expert, political science degree, history degree, and 21 years in the Secret Service, where I was there for a lot of the things people are still talking about. Our first black president. Much of Hillary Clinton's entire political career. Mm -hmm. I know Joe Biden. I know Hillary Clinton. I've met Barack Obama. I've met the Trumps. I've, I've known the family. You know, what do you want to know? And so... And I often tell people on both ends, without getting specific, that if you knew what I knew, your opinion would be different. 
And that could be their positive opinion of Donald Trump or their negative opinion of Hillary Clinton or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And so I started up the middle, which has also now taken a back seat at less than a year old, because soon after that, in effort to expand the already growing audience of that podcast, which is named for the direction that I am. And I think I really, I think everybody is of the opinion that most voters are not straight down the line Republican or straight down the line Democrat. And if you don't believe me, go back to my season one of Up the Middle and look at the two part series about political or um, political topics, voters topics. 37% of Republicans are pro-choice. More than one in three Republicans is for abortion. 20% of Democrats carry a gun. Not pro-Second Amendment, but actually carry a gun. That's one in five. So I'm representing not just middle, but the people who aren't straight down uh, political lines. You still might be leftist with these few exceptions. You still might consider yourself a conservative with these few exceptions. But up the middle became a voice and more of a, a listening post for those that are not straight with with Fox or CNN or MSNBC or Breitbart or um, Newsmax, uh, any of those. So to expand that audience, I started Yerg's Radio, an internet radio station. And to have some level of humility, I didn't want it to be all about me. Mm-hmm. So I found other podcasts that I thought would be a good fit to be on that station. And at that point, good fit just meant it was a podcast that I liked. (laughs) And so it grew into, you know, other podcasts such as be inspired. And I realized that between be inspired, your two dads today, we laughed and learned outrage overload para or normal guys. Um, what am I, what's one that I'm missing? Uh, there's two that I've I, that aren't on anymore, uh, but also the Misfits. Mm-hmm. They're all positive shows. Be inspired, inspires. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the the tagline for the station now is positive talk in a negative world. Wow, I that hadn't is heard a that lot before. Of yeah. I hadn't heard oh, that before. We didn't, oh. No, I thought that's we talked about fantastic. That. Wow, positive yeah. talk in a negative world. I really, really like that. I'm going to have to steal that or share that a whole lot. Well, yeah, because, especially when you do promos for Be Inspired. Absolutely. Um, because absolutely. exactly what Be Inspired is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So with that, that's where it's at right now. It's busy. We'll talk about expanding into terrestrial radio, as it's called, or AMF. I was going to say, but now that yeah. I've mentioned Be Inspired. So tell us where Be Inspired is going. <laughs> well, Be Inspired was inspired by a friend of mine who was doing um, a podcast for his, as part of his job, as part of Victory Bank. And when he talked about it in a meeting that was a, was about positive talk in a negative world. Um, I said, gee, that's something that I can do. Uh, And I asked him to teach me. So in 2020, right before the world shut down, Bill Vitiello taught me how to make a podcast. And he was absolutely great. He's the greatest teacher. He really is. Because I was able to pretty much figure it out. And I'm no techno genius at all. I'm very afraid right. of it, but he made it, he made it that I could do it. 
And um, so I've been since February 2020. I'm in my fifth season. Do you believe that? I'm in my well, fifth season. Yeah. And what I do is I um, have conversations with people whom I run across, people whom I meet, people who I have known forever, who are doing really cool things, who are inspired by one thing or another, by what they do, by who they are or, or whatever. And I have a 20 or 30 minute conversation with them. It's just a casual conversation. It's it's organic. You know, we don't plan much for it. But what I want to know in my conversations with my people is how did you get how did you get where you are today? And because I taught high school for or taught for 35 years, some of that was junior high and some of it was high school. But since I taught for for 35 years, I often ask them to go back to a memory of themselves in high school. And in high school, did you ever think, what were you planning to be when you were in high school? What were you planning to do with your life when you were in high school? Did you ever plan to be where you are today? And it is so much fun to listen to everybody's, what I call their artistic journeys, because everybody yeah. is an artist in some way or another. And so that's how our conversation often begins. And then, of course, I ask them all sorts of questions about what they're doing and how they how they do what they do. What are the frustrations of whatever it is they do? What are the wonderful, positive, excellent, inspiring parts of what they do? And it's, like I said, it's a real conversation. And I tell you that um, what pleases me most are when my people say to me, gosh, I was so nervous about coming in here to record this podcast episode with you, but it was really easy and it was fun and I had a good time because that's what we want to do. We want to have a good time awesome. while we're here. Yeah. So that's Be Inspired. Yeah. And of course, um, it populates itself on a variety of podcast platforms. And so while I initially recorded it on Anchor FM, that went away. It went to Spotify. And in June, it's going, I'm going to have to learn some technology again. You might have to come to Pennsylvania and teach me. <laughs> it's Riverside now, I yes. think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I have I just, no idea what. I tell, yeah. I just, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of, well, not in the middle. I haven't, well, yeah, kind of in the middle of putting together a project for the summer. Uh, that I got a grant award for from Berks County Community Foundation, the Boyertown Community Grant. And uh, I, the theme this year is I am proud to be whatever it is. And so um, one of the things that I'm doing for that project is putting together my episode notes for four and a half years because I drop an episode every week four and a half years worth of descriptions of, of, of with whom I've spoken, with whom I've made recordings of, of them. And I want to put, it, put together a booklet that includes, like I said, the episode notes and maybe a tiny photograph of them so that people can know all the people I've had the pleasure of recording for posterity. Anyway, so I'm in That's the nice middle one. of... I'm I'm in the middle of doing I'm in the middle of doing that with be inspired. So I'm I'm nervous about this June transition to Riverside because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know when I need to stop and learn because I want to catch as many people for my project to include in the booklet as I possibly can and I'm afraid I'm going to have a learning curve that I can't you know, that's going to frustrate me and that's going to slow me down with my episodes. Yeah, so I, true, what I true. really like to do, what I really like to do is have, um, I'm, I'm at mid April right now. I've scheduled recorded episodes through mid April. I'd like to get through, uh, I'd like to get, uh, anyway, I'd like to get as many recorded as possible before I make myself learn this new technique, but that's be inspired. You can find me on a variety of different platforms. There, your turn again, terrestrial so radio. I have, yeah, I have actually, while you were talking there, it's something I need to do too for up the middle and for both sides now, because I manage the uh, library for both of those and that's on Spotify. So I just created a tab on this browser as we're recording Spotify to Riverside. And of course that came up. And so later today, I'll take a look at that and 
see Good. just how difficult it is and, and whatever else. So now they do but, tell uh, you, I, I must tell you this because you may not have examined it, but I can tell you that, that they suggest, I have not, they suggest that you, that you copy all your files for, for up the middle and, um, uh, help me and both sides now that you copy them because they won't be available. Oh. So that's Off kind of river, why I was really river. glad that I ended up copying all my episodes and sending them to you. So I have well, them. So for me, mm -hmm. because they're on different platforms already anyway, Okay. I don't record to, to Spotify. I oh. create episodes on the computer. So I have a library already of oh. those episodes. Okay. And because mine are video podcasts, well, both sides now is not, but um, up the middle is, I also have a standing library on YouTube. Okay. Uh, okay. You will someday have at least part of it on YouTube as I transition both sides now to okay. the um, to the YouTube playlist that I've created on Talk TV twenty four that my okay. my podcasting channel uh, where I share a lot of people's podcasts in a video format and even though you don't you don't people are saying well be inspired isn't in video format what do you do yeah. I just simply put the artwork and you can stare at the artwork for a half an hour or an hour or however long. <laughs> and still hear the podcast right. and that's a good thing because google wait which is it yeah google podcast has already gone away as well because google the oh. world's largest database owns youtube the world's second largest database and they felt that it was redundant to be managing two podcast directories so they sent all the google podcasts to youtube music and that's where Oh, that God. directory now is so for that's, some it might be redundant that's too um, much technology but, for for me yeah so um yeah so do you want a quick talk about terrestrial what else you're doing on terrestrial radio so that we have a 20 minute clip here sure so as as up the middle started growing rather rapidly within within week number one i got a phone call from the boston globe saying, hey, what are you doing? We think we kind of like it. Uh, we'd like to talk about maybe adding you to the Boston Globe website, your podcast. It has since not come to fruition. It's not going to work out. They're going a different direction with the entire project. But it still showed me that there was an interest on a large level in my take and approach to covering politics. So I so, thought, well, how can I expand? I'm already in podcasting, so doing anything different there isn't going to be a real big change. What can I do to find new listeners and viewers to up the middle? And I looked at internet radio. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I looked at internet radio. That took off rather quickly. We started that back in September. And that's where I brought on Be Inspired and the other podcasts. But because that took off... I talked to a man named John J. Wiley, who's a retired Baltimore City police detective and now podcaster and radio presenter. And he told me about this thing called brokered radio. You go and you buy the time on a talk radio station, which is what we've done. We're now on 99.1 in FM in Atlanta. And 1490 AM right here in Tampa Bay with others on the way. The company that got us to Atlanta has a bunch of other stations that are their clients. So we're going to expand um, mm -hmm. as we see fit. But also, not only are my podcasts and your podcasts and others' podcasts being replayed on these stations, my radio show that I started on Yerg's radio is now not only syndicated, but simulcasted to the AM station every Friday afternoon. That's so awesome. that's growing. Yeah. 
uh, and now, like you said, uh, before we started recording today, and you've asked me plenty of times in the past, you know, when do I sleep? Am I overwhelmed? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've had to since make a difficult decision that everybody in this business has to make sometimes. And that is one of my own shows as in one that I'm on was not doing as well as what I'd anticipated. Mm -hmm. So I canceled it last week. Mm -hmm. And that was a version of the show that's actually simulcasted. It's just with a different mm -hmm. cast. Gotcha. The two of us that worked on it Monday and Wednesday weren't too successful. Mm -hmm. The very first show of the Friday version happened this past Friday, and it was the station on the spot gave us an extra half an hour. No gave kidding. us, without charging, an extra half an hour. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, they're really liking it. We've got a lot of good feedback already, which for one show is unheard of. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, growing the hair out to be the Howard Stern of politics is actually paying off. <laughs> Well, good enough. So you can find you in a variety of different things. Um, yeah, the on... best thing to find me is on mm -hmm. Yerg's Radio. Or, or actually, um, yeah, Yergsradio.com and Yergs.com. Y-E-R-G-Z. And on those, you can find Be Inspired, too. Um, Correct. Be Inspired has, you know, is available through your favorite podcast platforms, some of which have gone away, I understand. But still in all, you can find us there. And you'll find also um, information about some of the things that, 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 and some of the people that I interview on the Boyertown Area Expression, which, it is, a, which is a digital news news site that a former colleague and I have started within the last year and a half called the Boyertown Area Expression. And you'll find, of course, information on um, a lot of things that I do on my Bear Fever website, bearfever.org, and on the art gallery website, studiobbb.org, about the art and artists that go on in the studio. So we're both really busy with all these different projects that we're doing. And we'd like you to join us in um, one way or another. And I know that Ross's uh, live shows, you can call in and talk to him there. But we'd like, to, we hope that you will. ready for this number, everybody. Okay, here we go. one one <laughs> triple eight eighty eight Yergs. <laughs> You, there you go. If you just spell yours, you'll you'll know the number. Yeah. Five eight and Y E R G Z. And you'll get us at the studio. That's our introduction to season two today. And like I said, we hope that you'll join us for all this positive talk in a negative world. I love that. I'm using that everywhere. So there. Have at it. Take it away. I'm Jane Stahl. And I'm Yergs. And this is, <laughs> here we go, both. Yep, both sides. Sides. Now. <laughs> now. Here we go. One out of three. Man. There you go.